Hello homo sapiens, it's five months into the year and I'm finally uploading this video. It's kind of funny because I wrote a script and I changed the months from three months to four and now it's five. Anyways, instead of a 2023 sketchbook tour, I'll be showing what I did in 2023 in no particular order. Quick rundown, 2023 I applied to Sheridan and Ringling College, was rejected from Sheridan, uploaded more videos in the last year on YouTube, and I tried 3D medium. But let's start off with the sketchbook. If you watch 2022 sketchbook tour, it's the same sketchbook type, just in grey. I sped this part two times I think, so if you want to watch it slower, lower the speed. To be honest, I've been procrastinating this video so much because at the end of the year, I barely finished half of my sketchbook. So it made me feel like I barely did anything in 2023. But currently it's May 2024 and I've drawn even less. Ever since the New Year's, I haven't made a single YouTube video, drawn much, or done anything productive this year. So I've concluded that my year doesn't really start until I made a sketchbook tour of last year's. This recap made me realize I did more than I thought though. So I guess that's good. Almost none of my sketchbook pages are finished, they're just a lot of doodles and notes and just idea building for short animation or illustration. Next are these mini sketchbooks. My friend gave me the sketchbook and it was a good size to put in my pocket and draw from life. I started drawing from life more often to practice drawing quicker or to pass time. And um, during my preparation for Sheridan Portfolio, uh, my tutor recommended this to me. So I've been doing it throughout the year. Um, this one time when I was volunteering at the movie theaters, I drew an old lady working with me. I thought she didn't notice, but then she was like, you aren't hiding anything from me, I know what you're doing, and I was really nervous when she said that. I thought she was going to be like, that's so creepy, don't do that again, but she actually was really happy and I gave the drawing to her afterwards. She said my daughter is going to love this and that I'll achieve what I want in the future. It was so sweet and I almost cried there. It made me kind of wish I did this more often. I really miss not posting YouTube videos or engaging on my accounts as much anymore because of the comments that are so supportive. But um, I really appreciate all of you guys and I hope you guys stay to see my progress as well. Anyways, I used recycled shipping boxes and cardboard I found laying around for a few projects. I made a small floating house first and then I made a bigger one that is based on the futuristic idea that there would be gas stations in the sky. Here are other views of it.
I made cars to go along with it. They don't have wheels as they are air mobiles. I made a truck, van, and a basic small car. And my favorite part is the tiny windshield wipers. Another cardboard project was a car. I was inspired by Leica Studio Animations, Box Trolls, and Paranorman. I watched a video on their behind the scenes props and they tried to make sure not to have super straight parallel lines and so I added that to this design. My favorite parts were the tree air fresheners, gear stick, love box, and the funky design. Next, I worked on a bit of polymer clay stuff this year. My biggest project are these over the garden wall figures. I did work, Grey, the frog, and Beatrice. Towards the end of the year, I wanted to make felt ornaments, so I made this bear. Pretty simple, I just drew the design out, cut it, stitch it, add fluff or anything you want, fluff preferably, and then I glue on extra felt for the details. Then I started making other felt animals. I made a whale, rat, and strawberry bunny. I also made another rat version, but for some reason, I don't have any pictures, just a picture of when I was in the middle of making it, so it looks really stupid here, but yeah, that, that's what it looks like. And then finally, last, here's the presentation of the digital art I did. First one is a New Year's drawing, kind of like an open door into the New Year moving forward type thing. Next is Death from Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I really love this movie a lot, so um, I had to draw something from that movie and I decided to draw Death. It was a really cool character in my opinion. Next is some more random drawings, a personal drawing on the left and a DTIYS on the right. After that is my Sheridan portfolio. I worked my butt off during February for this. Unfortunately, for 2024, I didn't apply again. I sort of missed that time of the year though when I was making progress and grinding. I feel like my growth in art really, like, it grew during that time. Right now, I feel like I'm making stuff and it's just been like mid or something. I haven't done much since 2023, maybe that's why. But um, yeah, anyways, um, after that, I worked on this animation idea for quite a long time. It was supposed to be done in a few months, but I ended up spending half a year on it. It's based on my original character. I've just been calling her Bench Lady because the first illustration of her was on a bench. And I think I made a YouTube video on her in 2022. Next is this illustration to celebrate 1K on YouTube, which I'm very grateful. My rejected video on Sheridan actually reached out to a lot of people, like way more than I thought it would, and I'm super thankful for the support. Then I drew Spot from Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. I just thought his body shape was so fun, and I thought the background I did was also really interesting. It's something I usually don't do. And then after that, I finally finished the Bench Lady animation. I did the animation on Procreate and put it together using CapCut. I really need to learn an actual like animation program like Toon Boon or something, but as of right now, um, I'm learning Pro Procreate Dreams, yeah, but my iPad keeps crashing, so yeah, I still need to learn an animation program. <laughs> Then I was really craving a hot dog one day, so I drew an illustration. After that is more random art. Left is Guardian of the Galaxy 3. Then it's a Halloween profile picture and then a Thanksgiving doodle. And then the last two digital illustrations of the year is this guy camping. And I think there's a good amount of raccoons in this drawing. And then the right one was just a girl struggling to draw, which is me for real. And that's it. If you guys are still here, thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope it wasn't too boring. I'm glad to finally finish this video so my 2024 can feel like it can start. It already is like halfway into the year, but whatever. Don't forget to eat, drink water, take breaks, and have fun. Bye!